Hello, thank you so much for joining us on MCN. I'm Mary Avila here with Chris Lash from Keep McAllen Beautiful. Welcome, Chris. Thank you. Thank, thank you for having me here. Absolutely. Thanks so much for being here. Lots to talk about, lots going on at Keep McAllen Beautiful, like the great American cleanup. Yes, we're really excited about this event because this event really makes a very big difference in our community. Yeah. It's a great way to build relationships. It's a great way to involve your company. It's a great way to get with your church groups because it's all about volunteering. Yes. Volunteering to help keep our city clean and beautiful. It's so important. Last year you had over 1,200 people help you out. Tell us about that. What is the day like? What do people do? So it's a great day because we start off early. So volunteers need to get there at 8 a.m. And we actually prefer that they register ahead of time. And so once they get to the park, we supply everything that they need. So yeah. they will get a vest. They will get gloves, they will get trash bags, and they also get a t-shirt. Oh, nice. A great American cleanup, don't mess with Texas t-shirt. And then once they get their items, the group leader will go get a map. And then that map will tell them their location. They can go mm -hmm. out and pick up litter. Absolutely, and I think you guys are also getting very technological because I believe there's even an app now uh, for people to input whatever they're finding. Yes, so this is one of the funner aspects of the cleanup is we have a uh, contest. It's called the Oddest Item Contest, and this app is really cool because the app works only on that day. You put it on your phone, and if you find something really peculiar, you can take a picture and boom, just like that, you're entered in the contest. Yes. And then we have judges who will look at all the pictures that are submitted and pick the first, second, and third place winner. And we have had some very interesting entries. Yeah, I mean, we did a story about this in the summer of last year. This past year, the winner found a little mermaid cutout. Years before, dentures. What are some of the odd yes. items you found? Um, you know, it's very interesting because you think, okay, one year they found a bowling ball. <laughs> like, who litters a bowling ball? Who loses a bowling right. ball? So another one we found that was interesting was a sonogram picture and it was quite a few years old so oh. it was interesting to find a sonogram picture we found somebody's wig and that was pretty interesting too one of the entries was oh a wig a wig a wig <laughs> so okay yeah we have fun with those entries yeah. because we when we found the <laughs> mermaid cutout when they you know when they turned it in we were like okay who loses a mermaid cutout a party cutout but yeah, it gets interesting, but you know, what's great is mm -hmm. that this is a great lesson for the volunteers because we get a lot of young people, we get a lot of children, and yes. so it really brings a lesson to them that it's very important to protect our environment. Yeah, teach them young, yes. absolutely. Yes. And you collected over almost close to 7,000 pounds of litter just yes. last year's event. Yes, we had a great turnout, <laughs> and we were actually able to canvas the entire city. We do the major third thoroughfares and also on that day we also have school campus cleanups and okay. so the the MISD schools the area schools enter a contest themselves we have a separate contest for them to see who can get the most participants on their campus to help clean up their campus and so again this is another way to beautify our city mm -hmm. beautifying our campuses and some of the campuses also opt to plant trees that day to redo their landscaping and so it's it's a great day all around for the city of McAllen. It gets a facelift yes. that one day. Yes. Absolutely. And yes. how can people get involved? So the easiest way to get involved is go on our website keepmcallenbeautiful.org and click on the volunteers tab and you'll get the information there. You can sign up there for our litter cleanup. You can sign up for the events that we have available for volunteering and you know again it's a great opportunity. I know that a lot of young people now need community service hours. Yeah. They need those hours and so this is a perfect way to get those community service hours you need and then you know what at the end of the cleanup we 
we bring them back to the park and give them hot dogs. We have raffle prizes. Oh. We have music. So it's really a fun morning for everyone. You get fed. You get. You have fun with your friends, and you yes. learn about the environment. Yes. What else can you ask for? But so let's touch really quickly before you go on recycling, because maybe some folks may not make it uh, to this event. But how can they make a difference at home or you in know, the community? It's interesting because a lot of times people think that recycling is difficult at home. Mm -hmm. It's very easy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a matter of just having a separate a separate <clears throat> receptacle in the kitchen. You separate your paper, your plastic, your aluminum, your cardboard, and your tin, and then that's it. You will be amazed at how much that will be, how much more that will be compared to the trash that you're actually sending to the landfill. Oh, interesting. It will be a lot more. Daily, you will be collecting much more in that can than you will in your garbage can. Because in your garbage can really should be just food waste. Anything that's food waste, anything mm. that is maybe contaminated, like tissues, paper <coughs> towels, toilet paper, that all should go in the trash can. But everything else, I mean, nowadays you use shampoo, it's a plastic bottle. Water, it's a water bottle, it's plastic. Mm. You know, your toothpaste comes in a cardboard box, your cereal, all of that is recyclable and it's so easy to recycle it. Absolutely. Well, thank you for the tips and absolutely, if they want to learn more information about the Great American Cleanup or just recycling in general, where can they go? What's your website? It's keepmcallenbeautiful.org. All right, Chris. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Thank we you. truly appreciate your time. Well, that's going to do it for us here. Thank you so much for watching. For the City of McAllen, I'm Mary Avila. Our team, stories that count from people who care.